Hey, Roger's side. Heraclitus, ancient Greek philosopher, says that a man can never step into the same river twice. This is because as he steps into the water, the water moves on. So, the river that he stepped into has changed because the water that he stepped into has moved on. So if he steps in again, he's not stepping into the same water, he's stepping into different water. Or, if he were to go downstream and step into the same water, he wouldn't be stepping down into the same rocks. So, the reason why I'm telling you this is that I'm on vacation and I'm down in Virginia, down along I-81. And when I was a kid, we used to go visit Pond Mimu down in Tazewell, down by Bristol, which is all the way down at the end of I-81. And the north end of I-81 is way, way up in New York. But anyway, we'd follow I-81 down. And there was one of the places that we always stopped was White's Truck Stop. Because it was kind of convenient, you know, it was about six hours, five, six hours from the first stop. And it's about five, six hours from the end because this was a long, long drive. And so we'd stop at White's Truck Stop. And White's Truck Stop, when I was six, eight, ten, twelve, was just like one of the most awesome places in the world. First of all, it was a truck stop, you know, which is not the type of thing that kids go to every day. And there were all of these trucks, big rigs, huge trucks. I mean, and trucks were cool back then. I mean, trucks were just awesome. And so there were all of these big rigs and all of these truckers. But there were some other really cool things about the place. So, for instance, right at the entrance, there were these six or seven Indian motorcycles. And they won races. And so there were all of these pictures up of the races that they'd won and trophies. So all of these prize-winning motorcycles. And then a little bit further in, you walk down this hallway, and there are knives up on the wall. I mean, just big, sharp knives. And it's like, that is so cool! And then there were guns. And there was a Tommy gun, an actual gangster type Tommy gun. <laughs> Tommy gun, Thompson submachine gun, was an automatic weapon developed in the early 1900s. Very popular during World War II by U.S. forces. Very popular with gangsters during the Depression and the Roaring Twenties because it fired a whole lot of bullets really quick. And it was portable. You know, so it was like one person could carry it because before machine guns were these big things that were water cooled and just a big mess. You had two people to carry it and three people to carry the ammo and it was just a nightmare. But the Tommy gun is something that one person could carry around and go, uh, uh, throw a lot of lead down range. And I mean, it was the canonical gangster gun. If you saw a gangster in the movies, they were carrying a Tommy gun with a big 50 round drum. 50, maybe it's 100. It's a big drum. It's just like infinite bullets. So and they had one of these things mounted up on the wall. It's like you could reach up and you could touch. But, you know, my mom was like, don't touch the gun. Don't touch the gun. But it was like right there. And it was so awesome. And you'd go back in the restaurant and there's this, there's this little greasy spoon. But uh, what was really cool was there was a room in the back of the restaurant. And above the room, there was a big sign that said, Truckers Only. And I was like, that is so cool to have a job where you have your own room to eat. So it's like, okay, here we are. We're the plebeians. We're the hoi polloi. We are just the rabble. And those are the truckers. And they have their own room to eat. It is like, that is so cool. I want to be a trucker. That was also the time of Smokey and the Bandit and Convoy, so everybody wanted to be a trucker because, you know, that was so cool. I mean, it was it was an 
immense truck stop, even by truck stop standards. And a few years ago, I thought, hey, it would be great to go, go there and show you what it looked like, what it looks like. But the problem was that the Whites died a few years ago. So it was no longer White's truck stop. It was then bought out by Petro. And all of the cool memorabilia was sold. And the greasy spoon in the back was replaced with uh, Nathan's hot dogs and a Popeye's chicken and a Subway. And, you know, Nathan's hot dog is good, and Popeye's chicken is good, and Subway is Subway. But, um, you know, it is, but it just, you know, it wasn't the same. It wasn't the room, it wasn't the truckers only. I mean, there were a few things there that kind of heralded back because they still had the chiropractor in there, they still had a barber shop. So this was a barber shop for truckers because, you know, truckers are on the road. And there were all of these different things that were just kind of the same, but you could tell that it was totally different. But it's like walking down the hallway, I could see the ghosts of where things were. So, you know, I stepped into the river again and the water had moved. But, you know... Sometimes you go back to a place that was wonderful and exciting, and it's still wonderful and exciting. And sometimes you go back to a place, and it's just a place. <laughs>